You have dysentery, John. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Literally, oh, shit. <laughs> All oh, right. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's bad. Uh... I don't know what you do about this. You have dysentery. Well, you you got to stop. I guess you have to stop. Yeah, yeah so I guess because, we'll stop to rest. And uh, just to let it, uh, if you're, you know, you got the back door trots. Right, and, right. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can't be driving the oxygen with diarrhea. No, not yeah, at all. And uh, I don't know what kind of medication they used in those old days for that, but they had certain kind of... Uh, 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 leaves and that you could chew and mm. uh, you know they have the home remedies for that sort of thing. But who's to say that John on May thirty first, eighteen forty eight, had some good leaves to chew for his dysentery? We have well, no idea what medicine. Well, they had I would think in. back there they would have home remedies on, yeah. the, on the wagon. Assumedly, yeah. assumedly. Yeah, you would. Well, then let's just assume that. How many days do you think we should rest? Well, at least two days for dysentery. Okay, we'll do yeah. two. Let's see what happens. I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, your health is fair. It's not bad, but it says it's fair. I guess that includes... The weather is hot and it's now June 2nd. Well, I'd be concerned about my water. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, water isn't included as a supply. Alright. You might want to just continue. Because yeah. other than your health... Maybe... Do you think that increasing the food ration helps with the dysentery? I have no idea. No, I, no, quite, quite the contrary. <laughs> <laughs> and if it isn't settled, the more you put, the more you're going to have to. Now, you work at home sometimes with this? Yeah, I do. I work from home all the time. Yeah. I, I mostly work from home. Um, that's, I have, your, that's your work piece there? Well, I have a little laptop, and mm -hmm. then it extends, and so I have three screens that oh, I can okay. work from, so it all kind of goes um, together. But I, I like working from home. Um, it's difficult because I feel like you don't you don't get the like coworker relationship I think that you get otherwise, and maybe you don't get the networking in the same way. But you know, it's good. I tend to work from out of the office a lot just because it can be difficult to concentrate with so many distractions. Well, you can always go in when you want. Eh? Right, exactly. Uh, I can I can go in. Yeah. I can even rent a space at the office and um, and just get an office rented out and work from there if I want. Oh, is, yeah, it's pretty easy. But yeah, I don't. The, I I imagine that working from home is probably a newer thing. <laughs> Well, it's a big thing now. It's mm -hmm. really caused some problems in real estate and lifestyles, and because people don't want to go back to the building. I mean, I definitely understand that. A lot of the people who worked in the office um, that were originally in office, a lot of them have liked seemingly being back. I think that I think a lot of us like want to do a mix, right? Like yeah. we want to have time to do chores and get stuff done and be at home like because it's you know if you work all day and you come back there's a lot of stuff that still needs to get done but it's also just feels like you're more productive when you're in the office well and, and it's great for women who have children exactly yeah. totally it's great for men who have children too yeah. what's not great is that when they're on their zoom calls and their kids are <laughs> running around like my old product manager had that problem because he had you know when COVID happened he had three young kids two or three young kids <clears throat> and uh, and they had no, no, no daycares were open schools closed so everybody's kind of got their you know kids hanging off of them in their <laughs> zoom calls you know so I imagine it was pretty stressful for them well if everybody's in the same boat it's understandable right yeah. exactly at least it wasn't a unique situation yeah. but um, yeah I mean COVID is something that like nobody was really prepared for anyway so yeah. and that's in all walks Looks like we're going to have to deal with it again because it's coming back. Yeah, the Delta variant. The Delta variant. Yeah. Uh, do you know when the booster for that is going to be out? Well, they're now depending on age. Mm -hmm. uh, they're talking about older folk like me uh, by the end of the year mm -hmm. for the Pfizer and okay. Moderna. Uh, they're talking earlier for the Johnson, J and J. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which one do you have? I have Pfizer. Pfizer. Yeah. Um, yeah, I wanted to go, I, I've been trying, I've been wanting to go to Japan next year, but I don't know what the situation with that is going to be, because I know that they're very behind, 
yeah, in terms they had of vaccination. Five percent in Japan. It's like nobody. Yeah. yeah, it's like literally nobody. And I think it's availability. I think that they had an availability problem, and their rollout was pretty weak. Pretty weak. Yeah. But um, I've been trying to go figure that out, and it's well, been it's, a whole it's idea. Cool. Have you been to Japan? I've never been. I want to go. Oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's, it's a, it is so different a world, yeah, than than our world. But it's it's beautiful. I mean, mm -hmm. the attention to detail. I've heard. I've heard. I mean, obviously, I'm into a lot of things that the Japanese make. But I've heard that for anything that you're into, the Japanese make it an art form. And yeah, yeah, no matter what hobby. I didn't know that you'd been. Oh yeah, I've been several times. Where did you go? Well, we had uh, operations in Tokyo. Okay. And I had access to the company jet, so, mm -hmm. uh, and I would go over three times a year because our our Far, Far East management team was in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. and when, whenever I went, we traveled the region. Right, so just everywhere in that yeah, part of the world. Yeah, everywhere in that The food is spectacular, expensive as hell, so, <laughs> so save your coins. Was there any place in uh, Tokyo that you found memorable? Because I've been planning all the, this whole trip and, well, and picking I, things out. My last trip over there was many uh, years ago, forty so. years ago. So, yeah, so. Uh, uh, and I'm sure. Uh, while you're there, though, if uh, your trip, if you can plan it, you go to Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. That's a hell of an experience as well. I hope it is still with everything that's been going on over there. Um, I don't know if Hong Kong is going to be the same in a year as it was 40 years ago or even 10 years ago, five yeah. years ago, given the government over there. You well, know. the fact that China now controls Hong Kong. It is completely changing it. Yeah. I've, I've heard things that like uh, me and dad were talking about this recently because Keith moved back from Hong yeah. Kong because he'd been back and forth from there forever um, and they said they moved back because of the government over there and that like it is chain it is really they're really trying to exert Chinese control over Hong Kong and um, and like the airports are empty there's like nobody people are just yeah. leaving you know which oh, is yeah. unfortunate yeah, it was one of the business capitals of the world, Hong Kong. Uh, yeah, very West. I mean, there are a lot of Western architecture. I mean, obviously from their history, the the belief set and the mindset of the people from Hong Kong <clears throat> is very different from a mainland China. A person from mainland China, they don't consider themselves to yeah. be Chinese. They consider themselves to be from Hong Kong. Well, Hong Kong was controlled by the British for right. for ninety years. Mm -hmm. and, so they're you know, yeah, it's completely different. Yeah, yeah absolutely different. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why the Brits decide to put that clause in there. You can have it in 90 years because it was optional. Yeah. And Britain had <clears throat> extended their resources worldwide. Mm -hmm. You know, Britain controlled two thirds of the world mm -hmm. uh, in their colonial periods. There in Africa as well. And China, India. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, they looked out 90 years and said, well, we really don't want to go beyond that.